Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can convert good notes into a Google Jamboard. So if you're like me and you're using the iPad, I use a Good Notes 5 on the iPad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert the Good Notes into a Jamboard so they can annotate on screen and then I can see all the annotations and they're working out. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and jump onto my workbook. This is the workbook that I've created. And so what I wanna do is I wanna share this to my drive, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna export this, export all, and I'm gonna export it as images. Now, when I export this as an image, each page is gonna get uploaded as its separate image, okay, which is wonderful. This is exactly what I wanna do, yeah? I'm gonna to go to my drive here, and I'm gonna select the folder, save here, and then go ahead and press upload. And as I press upload, all of the images are gonna be uploaded as separate pages, okay, which is excellent. So now that's done, step two, uh, basically it doesn't matter whether you work on your iPad now or you go to your desktop or your laptop now, but I'm gonna stick with the iPad here. Go to Safari, if you are working on the iPad, go to Safari, don't use the Jamboard app, okay? So go to Safari, uh, go to the your grid and open up a new Jamboard. Right, this is the new Jamboard and I'm gonna start editing this new Jamboard. Now the reason you wanna open it up on Safari and not the iPad app is because we can set custom background. So I'm gonna click on set background i'm gonna to go to image and i'm gonna go ahead go to my drive locate that folder that i saved all the images to and now one by one i can start uploading the images as backgrounds so here we go that's the first one i'm gonna just set that as frame background that should upload now look at this this is perfect this is a 16 by 9 perfect 16 by 9 background here um, that is uploaded for my frame i can go ahead and continue this and upload all of the backgrounds here so page two i can upload that one set as frame and i can continue to do that um, for all of the frames all of the pages that i want to upload once i've done that i could go ahead and share this share this to the students i can add a link in here or better yet i can just go ahead and copy the link and then throw that into the breakout room when i want to do breakout rooms and i want students to collaborate on the particular jamboard what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna make one master Jamboard here, and then I'm gonna make copies of it, because in my breakout, in, in my Google Meet, I'm gonna have maybe four or five different breakout rooms, and I want each student group, each sort of team, to have their own access to a separate Jamboard. So I'm gonna create copies of this, and then send out the links to those breakout rooms. Bonus tip, make sure that you convert good notes to a 16 by nine aspect ratio because it will fit perfectly in the Jamboard frame. Uh, if you're interested in figuring out how to do that, then consider subscribing and I'll be uploading a video on that soon. Um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.